Hi there. Welcome to the demo of improved column lineage functionality available with the Power User VS Code extension for dbt. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to visualize model level lineage as well as column lineage, but not just that, also to trace how a particular column has been transformed throughout that DAG and exactly what code pieces contributed for that transformation. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm using a 2R dbt project here, bunch of dbt models there. Once you open a particular dbt model, go to the lineage tab, assuming you have a power user for dbt extension installed, you will see a model level lineage view like this. In this view, models are supported, as you can see, seeds, um, as well as different components like um, analysis, exposure, all those different components that are available in dbt are supported in this model level view. When you click on a particular component like a model, that particular model file gets opened in a code editor. Now, when you select a particular model, lineage path for that particular model gets highlighted in the view as well. Now, there are a few different ways in which you can expand this model level lineage view. You can either click on the plus sign here, as you can see, now this expanded the lineage view a bunch, or if you have a complex DAG for a lineage, you can use the expand button as well. So as you can see, you can expand multiple levels and it will add additional tables to this view very easily for you. So as you can see, this is a complex DAG, got expanded very easily without clicking plus sign many times. Now, let me show you column level lineage. Let me make a little bit more space here. This, okay. Now, in this view, if I want to view column level lineage for a particular column in this model, CMS, HCC, patient risk scores, click on the details and click on a particular column that you are interested in. For example, if I'm interested in how this normalized risk score is being calculated, I click on this particular column and as you can see, column level lineage is available for me. There are a few different columns that are contributing to creating this normalized risk score. You see some solid lines and some dotted lines. Solid lines are direct data flow connections coming from select queries. Some dotted lines that are coming in when there are queries that are linked via where clause or join clause, etc. You can adjust this view by going in settings area and choosing what type of view you prefer. You can expand the column level lineage view also in a similar fashion further and you can see a bunch of connections that are happening there like this. Now, recently what we have introduced is for each column, you can see how that particular column is getting created. So there are these small icons that we have put in there, for example, T in orange for transformation. So this particular column is being created through the transformation. You can click on this small icon here and actually view a piece of code also the list of transformations that are particularly happening to create that particular column from in the model file there are few different types of uh, these transformations available if column has just been renamed it will show up as alias in green if the column has been passed unchanged it will show as um, purple globe with a u so all this information is now available with the column level lineage in Power User VS Code extension. Now, same information is also available in the SAS UI. You just have to sync your manifest files and catalog files with the SAS UI. And all this information for people who are more comfortable viewing this information in UI is available with the Data Pilot Power User SAS UI also. So thank you for watching this demo and please share any feedback and definitely try this out. It's, this functionality is already available. Thank you so much.